they are so lazy. They need to take the shadow balls. Coffee prices can be a bit high yeah. sometimes. The wall is glass, so you can see everyone like taking pictures, like walking around. My name is Laura. I am from Colombia. I am studying the Graduate School of International Studies. I'm majoring in Development Cooperation. And I have two scholarships. One is called IWAL Love and the other one is IWAL GSIS. And that scholarship gives me the whole master and a part of my living expenses. Hi, my name is Adelia and I'm from Kazakhstan. And I'm majoring in Communication and Media in Bachelor's Degree. I'm from IHUA Women's University too. My scholarship is EGPP, which is IHUA Global partnership program. It covers everything like tuition, my living expenses, dormitory, and even flight tickets. Hi everyone, my name is Susan Sarmiento. I am from Colombia. I'm studying at Igual Women's University, majoring in international studies. Just like Adelia, I am also an EGPP scholarship. <laughs> I have done that before. It wasn't interesting at first, but then when I took it, because it's English, it's really like easier to understand than Korean. I got interested in the class after I took it. It's kind of similar for me as well. My major is almost 100% in English. However, there are classes that don't stand out too much to me. But the, regardless of that, I've taken the classes and I actually ended up liking the subject just because as Adelia, we're also more fluent in English. So it it was easier to process the information and become very interested in the subject. As they told us, you can enter to understand a whole new world that maybe before you didn't knew because you are starting to get to know another knowledge. So that's the reason why I also picked it. And it also scares me to study in Korean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, I do want to add that with Korean courses, as the option was something that interests you, I think I would take it as well, just because it's something I really am interested in. I think even though it's in Korean, it, it still would be doable, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. I have one that I really like. It was 17th, 18th century of English literature. Because I took that class, now I'm doing double major in English language and literature. So it was really like something that I liked. In my case, it was contemporary photography. Aww. And I actually think it's a pretty famous yeah. course amongst Iwa students. Everyone takes it regardless of their major. And I think it's because the professor is very hands-on. Even though it's an online course, he's an actual photographer. So he teaches us different works from photography's history, but he also shows us his work of what he did with the same techniques. So I really enjoy that course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes the professor kind of makes parentheses during the classes to explain the content in Korean as well. I don't mind it at all because it's not new information that they're giving out. It's just translating what they've already said to make sure that everybody is clear. And I think uh, that's very well be done because that's very inclusive to make sure that all the students understand the content. I haven't had that, that experience and especially it's because our great day graduate the School of International Studies has almost a 90% people that are coming from all over the world. They were just like two or three Koreans. And our professors, even though they are Koreans, I really understand very well their English. I think it's, it's very easy to connect to the classes. I think they, they are also too careful to explain it very well because English is not their first language, so they understand that we are also not like non-native in English. So they are very kind also with the language and how they explain it. Something that has really helped me is surrounding myself with Korean friends. I have many friends who actually talk to me in Korean. Even though I still respond in English, they do communicate with me in Korean and I think that will help me a lot to improve my level. But I am required, well, for the scholarship, oh, yeah. they do require us to get like 
to a certain level. So I'm working on that. For me, before coming to Korea, I was learning Korean. It was like a beginner level. I knew how to speak, just like a casual way. But then like knowing Korean in the university level was hard. But then I took some Korean classes because I had to take them. And to be honest, they were really helpful. Like I learned Korean because it was only Korean like uh, area, like environment. The professor was speaking only Korean. There were only Korean people. So I had to make myself learn Korean. Korean, and it was really helpful. It's like I worked under pressure. Also the university gave us like Korean classes so you can take classes at the same time that you're studying your master or your bachelor's degree and they don't give you credits for that. That's good and bad. It's good that GPA is not going to be hurt but at the same time you are also having another thing to have in your mind when you are studying intensive classes so it also requires a lot from you. I took a topic test and I got Sagap the fourth level because I want to do masters. I need to have higher topic. So yeah, I'm preparing for the topic. It was my first semester last semester, so I didn't actually take Korean yet, but this semester I am planning to take the intensive uh, courses. So they're all in the morning and it's four times a week and they're three hours a day. So I think that will be a good start to start preparing for topic. But the University IWA also provides a scholarship that pays for your topic mm -hmm. exam. So I think we have a very big support system from the university that allows us to prepare and also take the exam. Yeah. Um, that's a hard that's question. A hard question. <laughs> All A. Former students, yeah. <laughs> we have to be very aware of our budget mm -hmm. and how we manage finances. Like on a daily, it's okay to just go to more affordable places. Mm -hmm. If the taste is fine, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Yeah. And then from once in a while, treat yourself to a very good meal. But as students, I think it's very important to make sure you're staying on a budget. Yeah. And you mentioned student budget, so we only can think about our stipend. For me, it doesn't matter if it tastes well. Or everything will taste well for me. Yeah. So I don't care if it's a very expensive place or a cheap place. I will really enjoy food. It doesn't matter if it's at the cafeteria of the university. But the cafeteria is good. It's really good. Yeah. But I also want to add that I would prefer to go to the affordable food places. I love going to cafes to study. Coffee prices can be a bit high yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So I think cheaper food, good mm -hmm. cafes, we're all good. There's this like plaza with a lot of food stands. It's called Box Square. Oh, it's not a box square. No, <laughs> Box Square. It's right in the corner of like uh, when you exit the university, and it has a lot of options of food. So I think many students go there. I really enjoy going there. We often bump into each other. Yeah. There too. <laughs> I, I really want to mention also the cafeterias of the university. They are so good. I'm so happy because I can add like yeah. the amount of rice that I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all of them just see me eating and eating all the time and they already know me. So I really recommend the cafeterias of the university. Mm -hmm. And also I think sometimes Korean food can also be very expensive, but the university cafeteria gives you the experience of tasting like different tastes of Korean food. So the reason why I have taste like different Korean dishes is thanks to the Iwa cafeteria. And there is one which is for professionals and it's a bit expensive than other cafeterias, but it's the most good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the best. yeah. yeah. Personally, for me, it's Hanori House. Yes. One. Ladies who like make the foods, they are so nice. That's why I really love this like Hanori one. I don't mind to go two hours from one place to another because in my country I used to do that. I was living in the capital city of Colombia, so even if I was near by my work, the public transportation is not good. I had to take like two hours to go to, to work, so for me it doesn't matter. But I want to say that master students doesn't have curfew, so you can go inside, outside whenever you want to. Yeah, I think it's very important to have independence and to leave that experience outside because, for example, in Colombia, 
sometimes you don't have the opportunity to explore more things because sometimes it can be dangerous to go outside at night, but here you can do it. You are living in another country, you can experience a lot of things, and new things. I enjoy my curfew. To be honest, if you live alone outside, you need to recycle things, right? But then in dorm, you don't have to recycle. You just put in the, the big trash bin and dorm people, they recycle for us. So that's my best part. I don't have to recycle because I know in Korea, recycling issue is the most challenging one. Like you need to know where to put all the trash. But for us in, in dorm, it's so easy. Like we have only one box. But it's not, it's not as difficult as it really? seems, no. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, but actually at the dorm, we already have curfew, 12. So I think one hour less, it will be all right. And also, I value sleep so much. True. So just the thought of having to sacrifice two hours of my sleep to like get to the university, I think I would yeah. prefer to just stay at the dorm. And also the dorms, since they're like high up, there's a shuttle bus that you can take and it only takes five minutes to get down from the top of the dorm to the university. Yeah. I think I would also prefer it because of that. It's very convenient. You, you shook your head, why? Because they are so lazy. They <laughs> need to take the shuttle bus. We are. Sometimes walking is yeah, good. She walking would walk is... all the time. <laughs> I never use the shuttle bus, just when I have really? to Really? <laughs> wow. It's important also to walk because the university has beautiful like views when you're walking from the main gate to the dorm. So it was also a time to think about my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the campus is really, really big. Even if we don't walk, like coming down, if you have to get to a class. So for example, my classes are distributed between lots of the university's buildings. So ECC or the International Location Building. So we do have to walk quite a lot to get from one place to another. It is true, it has beautiful views. So I love walking around campus. The Central Library has this like big window on the fifth floor and it's beautiful because that's where you can see like the best sunsets and you get a view of like all ECC and like the International Location Building and it's just wonderful to see how it changes throughout the seasons so that's my favorite study spot. I like to study in ECC like you were sitting in the B4 the wall is glass so you can see everyone like taking pictures like walking around and even the season changes. I will also say that I like the central library. You have everything there so if you want to search for something that you need to write a paper you have it on the library so I think it's very convenient and you also have different coaches so you can go and sit or go to sleep. It's also not so crowded because people usually are too lazy to go to the library because you have to take stairs. So people prefer ECC to study. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the campus has a wide variety of places to study at. Yeah. Like there's specific study rooms where you can go and like have your own space. And it's almost in every single building. Yeah. Like each building has its space for students to study. So I think anywhere you study, you'll be comfortable and have everything that you need right at hand. And not only place to study, you can also sleep there. Also the student union, like sleeping, kind of napping room and the sofas, they're the best. <laughs> So that kind of brings an end to our Would You Rather section. You guys did like a really great job. <laughs> I am scared. Okay. <laughs>